New tonight at 6, video you'll see only here on 7 News. A man says Greenville County deputies used excessive force during an arrest. The sheriff's office disagrees. Our Erin Rogers has been digging deeper into what happened in Berea back in May, and she has more on the exclusive story from our 7 on Main studio. Erin? Well, Diane, the sheriff's office told me they've had seven excessive force complaints so far this year, which is ahead of last year's pace. Mr. Curtis Forney is one of them. He gave me the video to show what happened in his case. A 911 call that escalated. I was kind of fearful for my life. This police report says deputies responded to this Berea home for a domestic disturbance. Show me 10 cents. This is what happened when the first deputy arrived. Get out here on the ground. What? Get out here. In this video, you see 46 year old Curtis Forney. The police report says he complied with the officer, but he's still asking questions. I'm about to tase you. But wait. I was nervous and I was scared. He says he became really frightened when the next deputy arrived. I see him running down the hill. He ran straight to me. This body camera footage Forney got through his lawyer's document shows exactly what he saw and what happened next. In the end, Forney says he suffered physical injuries. My jaw was messed up, broke ribs. You know, black eye. And faced five charges, including harassment and resisting arrest with injuries after the deputy, seen punching Forney, wrote in this warrant that he hurt his right hand while Forney was trying to flee. You're going to beat me and then charge me for hurting your hand. That's sad. That should never happen and it needs to stop. Activist Bruce Wilson and Forney say what happened was excessive, but the sheriff's office came to a different conclusion, releasing a statement saying, in part, the internal investigation concluded that excessive force was not used and therefore no disciplinary action or criminal charges will be levied against the deputy involved. Forney says he's the victim and wants them to take another look. I just want justice. I did reach out to a few people on the Sheriff's Office Citizens Advisory Board. I was told the board knew nothing of the video, but I was just told they will review the case at their meeting in a couple weeks. Of course, that board was formed under suspended Sheriff Will Lewis. In the 7 on Main Studio, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News.